Hello, I'm Betty Butterfield, and welcome to today's lesson on our friends, the Lutherans. I went in this Lutheran church the other day. I'm going to tell you what that place smelled like at elementary school. It's like crayolers and things in there and vomit cleaning up equipment. I said, what kind of place are y'all running around here? And he says, we're part of the Holy Church in Cat. There was a Lutheran priest, old blonde-headed, blue-eyed thing, just as tall and lanky. I said, I'm Betty Butterfield. Can I ask you some questions about y'all's church? Now he told me Martin Luther founded this thing. He was a Catholic priest and uh, he just about had it. And I know that feeling. And so he went and wrote 95 things on the wall and went on a diet of worms. But you know that takes real commitment to just eat nothing but worms for the Lord. First thing most people think of when they think of the Lutheran church is Martin Luther King, but that is just so completely ignorant. He was a colored preacher who's had, I had a dream. And his mama named him after Martin Luther, the other one that was 500 years earlier, but he was not colored. He was as white as they get. <laughs> Lord. Lutherans are trying to get together with Episcopalians. I suppose that way they'd be able to pay the rent on them church buildings since them things is dried up. Nobody goes to church no more. Have you noticed that people just won't get up on Sunday morning and go down there? It's because it's an hour of your life sitting on a hard pew listening to a bunch of rigmarole. Main thing I think of when I think of Lutherans is mostly like bake sales and things. They're always having those in the paper constantly. This and that happened in Lutheran church and all this. I used to go to an Overeaters Anonymous meeting in the Lutheran Church. I stole all the people, but I've lost them. Oh my God, my heritage. The Lutheran Church didn't give me scabies. <laughs> 